want to talk about budgeting. One thing that I did when I decided that I wanted to be better financially, have more financial literacy and save money and be in a in a comfortable financial stance, <laughs> if that's the word that I'm looking for, is that I, I knew that I had to budget. So the way that I did it, I'm just going to cut to it. The way that I budgeted was I taught myself how to use Excel, but you can do this on like literally all you need is a pencil and piece of paper. So you're going to, you're going to have, you're going to draw a line down and sit on your paper on one side, you're, you're going to write how much you spent last month. And then on the other side, you're going to write how much you made. And that will let you know, are you making enough month to month? to like well that'll let you know that from last month did you make enough from what you spent so if say you made two thousand dollars and you spent twenty five hundred dollars now you know that you're negative five hundred you know going into the next month so right there you already know that you're spending more than what you're making now you will have to get more in debt into your spending because in order to budget and to save money and to manage your money, you need to know where your money is going. So what I did was I opened up my Excel sheet and I went into my bank account because I mostly use my debit card. So there's mo you know, there's all electronic, um, documentations of my transactions which made it a lot easier so I went to the previous month and I wrote down every every transaction that I made um, I wrote down the dollar and cent amount along with where I spent that money so if we ate at Chick-fil-A and that was thirty two seventy five. I wrote that. If I went to Kohl's and spent seventy five sixty eight, I wrote that. And I wrote down every single transaction. Then I categorized every transaction. So I had a category for groceries. I had a category for um my car, so that included um, car payment, gas, um, maintenance, car wash, um, whatever it had to do with, with my car. I had a category for um, takeout, so anytime that we ate out, whether it was McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, um, even uh, getting food at work um, from the cafeteria, that was eating out, eating out anywhere other than home. <laughs> And I had a category for groceries. I wanted to know how much I was spending on groceries and et cetera. So I categorized um, all of those transactions so I could see where most of my money was going. And, you know, I I took the time. I, I you know, I did a little learning of how to do Excel in college, but it was a, a very brief course. So I went on YouTube and all that kind of stuff and, and learned how to do it. But um, but then later on, after two years of doing this, um, I discovered that there are numerous um, budget and finance apps um, on the app stores, um, online. Um, one that, that I invested in was Quicken. That's one. Um, there's QuickBooks. Um, there's, there's all sorts of software out there that will make budgeting 10 times easier than how I was doing by literally writing out every single transaction. But I will say that by me writing out every single transaction that made me so much more disciplined it you know it was it almost got to the point because every week every Monday I would sit down and I would write out every transaction that I made from the previous week and since I was sticking to that it was almost like in my mind I was like you know if I'm out you know uh, shopping or you know just doing whatever for day to day 
I'm thinking about all the transactions that I'm going to have to write out <laughs> on Monday. So I'm like, okay, I need to keep this short. So then that way, the, the less transactions I had, the less that meant the less that I was spending. So that was kind of like a little trick that, that helped me. But anyway, so back to, you know, writing everything out, putting it in front of you so you can see where you're spending your money. And then, you know, it takes... And then the other part of it is then you have to look at, um, you know, what's necessary and what's not. You know, I decided that eating out as much as we as we were was not necessary. I I like to cook. I love to cook for my family. So there's no reason why, you know, I should cook more at home and not eat out every other day. And then, you know, because eating out every other day, that makes the groceries that I bought go to waste and decide what you're going to cut out of your life because if you're overspending every month then that means that you know um, you're living beyond your means Um, meaning that if you make two thousand dollars a month but yet you're spending three thousand which you're you're spending 2000 of your cash, and then you're putting the other 1000 on a credit card, you're just putting yourself into debt. And we want to reverse that. So you have to cut out what is not serving you. Um, And you have to try to um, decrease your expenses. And if you get down to, you know, all your expenses you know you you have all your necessary things that you have to pay for every month like your light bill your water bill your mortgage your your um your car loan you know groceries etc and you've made all the cuts that you can make then now you know you have to look for and, and you know if you cut all those expenses down and you're still um, overspending at the end of the, of the month, then that means that you have to supplement your income. You've got to be able to make more money because if you are making two thousand dollars a month and you're still spending twenty five hundred dollars a month, and that's all your necessities with nothing else extra, there's nowhere else for you to cut. Then that means that you need to. Find a way to make more money in order to um, be able to pay your pay your bills, pay your lifestyle every month. And if you want to get into saving, then of course you have to make more than that. So um, I just wanted to make it really simple by saying the way that you start to budget is you've got to write down your transactions, get it in front of you, look and see what you're looking at, be honest with yourself on what you need and what you don't need, and get the discipline that you need in order to stick to your budget. Because the only thing that's that is making you overspend is you when it comes to unnecessary things you know of course we know that there's things that that we can't control but there are a lot of things that we can control and we have to be honest with ourselves and we have to be disciplined so that is that on budgeting I hope that that helped Um, I try to keep it short and sweet so thank you guys for listening and until next time bye